There are, I'm thinking, two people here who know Lori. Um, Lori is, well, to begin with, a wealth of information on Enyo. Um, I'm really, really thankful and fortunate to have her um, training me. But she also, and she wouldn't tell you this, and I had to kind of pull it out of her. <laughs> she's a little bit humble. Um, she's the number one consultant in Canada and number 26 in the world. Um, and I didn't want to sort of steal her thunder by saying more about what I know of how she got involved. So I'll maybe let you do that. But anyhow, thank you, Lori, for helping me with my kickoff and starting. I'm really pumped to, to be involved with Enyo. Good. Well, I'm really excited for you to be here too, Jackie. This is awesome. And Jackie was telling me she's been on a chemical free journey for a long time. So um, when she first started using Enyo, I imagine there was a little skepticism in Mary, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, Probably. there was. Yeah, yeah, there was with me as well. Um, let me just... There's Bev. Hi, Bev. There we go. Okay. She can't All hear right. us, I don't so, think. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. so... I, I, if we could, I'm going to get everyone to kind of mute themselves. There's a little mute button there, just because we're going to record everything. And sometimes there's a bit of background noise. So um, if we can kind of keep that down. I have a really squeaky chair, but I'll try to sit still. There's Sherry. I'm going to admit her. And um, for sure, if you've got any questions, um, you can wait till the end or actually just unmute yourself and say, hey, I've got a question. Or you can type it into the uh, messenger. That's down there, and Jackie, maybe you could kind of watch that um, and see if there's any questions popping up, and then you could just stop me, okay? So, yeah, so um, I'm, a, I'm a housewife. <laughs> I mean, I started where everyone else started. I, um, I'm also a dental hygienist, actually. I've been a hygienist for 26 years. So I came out of a scrub cap today and PPE all over the place and uh, all the rest of it. Um, and uh, I'm just so happy to be here tonight with Jackie's kickoff. This is so great because there, there are only about 150 annual consultants in Canada. Uh, and we have a lot of work to do. Um, they say about a thousand homes is a full-time job uh, with an annual planner. So if you know anybody else in your area that is looking for part-time hours, please um, message Jackie and um, this might work for them. Yeah, it might not. But anyway, I'll just put that out there. Um, so 12 years ago, I was invited to a home demonstration like this, only in a house. And I said, no, thanks. I'm not going. Um, and it was my best friend that invited me. And even though it was my best friend who thinks out of the box all the time, she's always thinking of one more better way to do thing in, in this world. And I said, no, because I didn't quite understand what Enyo was. I was a little afraid. Um, I didn't want to spend any more money on stuff. I, um, I was using a lot of chemicals in our farmhouse. And I had gone down to all the green products that were out there, which did absolutely nothing in my bathroom. And then I went um, down to vinegar and baking soda and stuff like that. I was mixing all kinds of concoctions. And all I got was a residue house that smelled like fish and chips, uh, which my kids didn't like when they came home from school. Um, but I kind of felt like I was smearing stuff around and somewhat cleaning. So I went back into chemicals because I want it clean as a hygienist. <laughs> you don't have to be a hygienist to want things clean, but I really, if I'm going to put the effort into something, I really want it to be clean. So I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. So I was using chemicals again, which I knew were bad for me. Um, I knew I could not teach my children how to clean the bathroom because... I would put myself in five different chemicals. I did one for the mirrors, one for the sink, one for the toilet, and I was mixing two chemicals together for our shower to get it clean, CLR and scrubbing bubbles. Um, and I would do that to myself, but I would not do that to my children. So when Deneen asked me to go, I went, no thanks. Like I was so done with everything. And she said, but it's mechanical cleaning, Laura, you have to come see it. And as soon as she said that, as a hygienist, everything just snapped in my head because mechanical cleaning is how I clean teeth for the last 26 years. It hasn't changed. I take very tiny instruments. I go underneath the gum tissue to pull out bacteria, viruses. I don't care. AIDS, hepatitis. It doesn't matter what it is. Bugs. Yuck. Um, but I don't kill it. I just pull it out. 
So a lot of people, I say to them, next time you're at the hygienist, make sure that she's not putting vinegar in your mouth. She's cleaning around. She might use a little water, right? And it's very tiny instruments. That's it. We mechanically remove it so that the gum tissue heals. So when she told me that this was mechanical cleaning, I thought, That's okay, I'm going to go check it out and test it and all the rest of it. Well, it has a 60-day money-back guarantee, and I was literally going to send it back 12 years ago, um, but it worked in my house. And not only am I still using it, but I am sitting here today in front of Zoom <laughs> with people from all over the place, just really trying to get the word out and trying to teach them about mechanical cleaning uh, with Enyo. So. Um, this is a company from Austria, and we're very, very proud of that. We are Oikotech certified, uh, which might not mean anything to anybody on here. Um, I was not an environmentalist when I started cleaning with Enyo. I just wanted it clean, like I said. Uh, but what happens when you start cleaning with Enyo is you become that environmentalist. I've been zero waste for 12 years in my cleaning. I didn't even know what zero waste was 12 years ago, but all of a sudden you just start, all these things start happening when you start using this. Um, they also told me that I would save time, that I could clean the house in half the time, which I thought there's absolutely no way I can clean the house in half the time. Um, but because the system is so simple and uses just cold water, you start moving very, very quickly throughout things. And I'll get into how it works a little bit later. For health reasons for sure I mean nothing gets better with your health when you as when you take all the chemicals all the volatile organic compounds all the killers in your house because those killers are actually killing a uh, probiotic bacteria that's on our skin that's in our system so if you can take that out of the house and have a house that's six times cleaner of course your health is going to benefit and the health of, health of your family also is going to benefit as well and for sure, money savings. So uh, Enyo was an investment. Actually, the price has not changed in 12 years. I paid the same price, pretty much, um, that, I, that everyone else pays now. I paid that 12 years ago, and I didn't think I'd get a cent back out of it. Uh, and I am sitting here today telling you that I'm saving thousands of dollars, not just in money, um, but for sure, I'm saving time, and time is money to us. So we run a full-time farm. Uh, I work three days a week as a hygienist. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a mom. I'm a volunteer. We run mission trips to Haiti. So if I can clean my house in half the time, I don't have to pay for a cleaning professional to come in. And I can put my time somewhere else, which is way more important than cleaning the house. <laughs> so um, how does this work? So I had said before it's mechanical cleaning, but I always compare it to what we're currently using. So what we're currently using in our homes are all products. So it doesn't matter if it's a Lysol wipe or if it's scrubbing bubbles or if it's a green product, if it's method, uh, if it's vinegar and baking soda, they are all products. So 98% of the surfaces in our home have all these little micro pores. Micro pores mean that our surface is not flat. It actually has these little tiny crevices and pebbles that go over top of it. 2% of our home is is non-porous surfaces and that's pretty much glass like your windows your glass top stoves there's one man-made um, countertop that's non-porous everything else has all these little micro pores and when you use a product first of all you have to read the label which i never did um well i better get sherry in here sorry sherry i thought she'd join before there we go okay um you've got to read the label so for example Lysol wipes. Let's talk about that for a second. So when you read a Lysol wipe label, if you've got one there, there's no judgment here. I use them too. I want you to go get it after this presentation and actually read the full label. The first thing that it'll say is that it's used on a hard, non-porous surface. Well, that's 2% of the surfaces in your home. That's windows and your glass top, as far as I'm concerned. And the next thing it says is that there's different times that you have to have it on your surface left to either disinfect or sanitize. It can range anywhere from two minutes to all the way up to 10 minutes wet on your surface. So let's say we've got all our micropores and we're gonna put our Lysol wipe on it. We're gonna leave it wet for 10 minutes and that means that you have to use more than one Lysol wipe to keep it wet. The product and chemical goes down into the pores. If you leave it long enough, it's going to kill your bacteria, which is fine. Um, but then it says to take a cloth with either hot soapy water or water to try to remove the Lysol chemical off the surface. And that's very important because if you don't remove a product, 
the bacteria that is now going to eat it as food because you've left it on your surface and down in those micropores. It just eats it as food and you're creating superbugs in your home. And that is why Johnson & Johnson and Procter Gamble are all coming out with all these new chemicals to use that are safe in the home because we have now smeared for how many months since March all this disinfectant over everything left it on our surface and bacteria's just eaten it and gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. And I'm really fearful of the schools right now um, because we're going to be just creating all these superbugs feeding off of the product that's left. So um, I did none of that. I did what the commercial did. I wiped and walked because on the commercial they see you walking across the kitchen counter and you're just wiping and walking. No gloves no mask, <laughs> you're breathing in all the volatile organic chemicals and the product is on your skin. So when it says it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria, that is the good bacteria. That's the easy bacteria and virus. So the probiotic uh, bacteria on your skin is the first to be killed. And that is the stuff that we actually need as humans. We need bacteria to create um, a really healthy environment. So with Enyo, we don't kill, we don't disinfect, and we do not sanitize. So those, um, those phrases are actually connected with the chemical. So if you're sanitizing or disinfecting, it has to come from a chemical company, and it's got to be a chemical that actually kills the bacteria. But we don't do that. Um, instead, what we do is we, re we remove, so we mechanically clean, just like our hygienists are, are mechanically removing bacteria from people's mouths. And how do we do it? We do it with a fiber that is really super big. It is huge. Um, Enyo is actually meant to be used on 100% of your surfaces, all your porous surfaces, non-porous, textiles, barbecues everything that you can um, imagine to clean, we've got the fiber that will actually do it. So we use cool to cold water with our fiber. I'm gonna sit a little closer on my squeaky chair. Um, so whenever you see a sun on your annual fiber, that is your strongest side. And Johannes Engel, who is the Enyo, <laughs> in Enyo, uh, he's made the sides dual, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. But whenever you see a sun, that's your strongest side. So Johannes made them into gloves so that we can be ergonomically prepped, which is actually really important as you age and get older. Um, we want our hands to be flat like this and maybe just curving around a little bit instead of grabbing onto a cloth and really scrubbing. So we pop our hand in our glove, ergonomically prepped. We stretch our fingers out so that our glove really just stays on. We don't try to hang on to our glove and let it float around. So we're gonna put cool to cold water on this. You can put a little bit, you can put a lot, you can soak your glove. If you've got too much water, you're going to roll your fibers so that you can actually squeeze and get the excess water out. And let's go back to these pore surfaces. So now what we're doing is we're doing light circular motions over top of our surface. And what our fibers are doing is they're going down and just pulling out everything that's on the surface. It will hold it in the fiber as long as you're in cool to cold water. So we're not transferring bacteria from one section to the next. Um, and it'll stay in here until you wash your enyo. And I'll go over that in a couple seconds. So your glove is the fiber that actually does the cleaning. But you'll notice with enyo that we have all these drying cloths. There's one per, one per zone by extra but you really only need one per zone they are flat so flat cloths is what i used to use cleaning and flat cloths do this they just go over top of your surface um, the annual cloths and, and really any flat cloth will pull up water that's on that surface but it will not go down and pull up bacteria so surface cleaning is what we're doing with flat cloths and products so our annual fills are actually used to just dry and shine and the reason for that is because our fibers actually clean up the food for bacteria and all the general yuck and oil and grease, and our drying cloths mop up the water. So bacteria needs two things to grow, whether it's on your surface or in your mouth, and it grows every 24 hours in the mouth because we're feeding it constantly, um, which is a good thing, actually. So our gloves get rid of the food for bacteria. 
our drying cloths get rid of the moisture and those are the two things that bacteria needs to actually grow. So when I started using Enyo, not only am I zipping through my house because it's so fast, um, I'm not leaving any product. I'm not leaving anything down in the pores of the surface that becomes food for bacteria to grow. So I'm not getting stains and smells back. So as a result, our homes are staying cleaner longer. So we are cleaning less, faster, uh, more efficiently with health in mind. And we are actually doing something for our environment at the same time because we've got no plastic bottles, no nothing, just the water tap um, in your own home. So any questions up until now? I'll keep skipping along if there isn't. Everyone's good? Thumbs up? Okay, so on our tag, not only does it say Enyo, made in Austria, which nothing ever says that. I want you to have a look at all your cleaning products and see where they're made. Uh, on the back of the tag, it, it says where it's to be used. So this is a bathroom glove. Everything's color coordinated with Enyo. They have your washing instructions here and they have this little blue label. So the blue label is really interesting because it goes by washes, but when the black section turns to blue, like fully blue, all up in that rectangle, it means that your fibers are exhausted and they need to be recycled. And we're sending them back to Austria right now and we're recycling into insulation for homes, which is really cool. So if you are an environmentalist, you've actually got um, neutral carbon footprint when it comes and then your zero carbon footprint when you're using it and then we're recycling at the very end. So how, do you wash, yeah. so how do you wash your Enyo? So we're gonna clean our surfaces with cool to cold water, but we're going to wash our Enyo when it's dirty and we're going to wash it like we wash our hair. So our hair actually gets all the dirt and grease down to the roots and if I was to wash my hair in cold water, nothing would happen. Um, it would still be dirty and greasy and yucky. So what we want to do is we want to put hot soapy water on our hair and agitate it. We want to put hot soapy water on our enyo and agitate it. And when you do that, everything gets exfoliated from the fibers. So what kind of soap? You can actually use any soap you want. Um, I do use the plant-based soaps from, uh, from enyo because they're plant-based. We are on our own septic system and I want nothing down into our septic system or nothing down into the earth that won't contribute to the environment down there. Um, and I also use them because they're super economical <laughs> to use. So right now we have um, one of the customer specials is that if you invest $150 with Enyo, you get your laundry liquid, 300 milliliters of it for free, which is pretty awesome because this is 60 loads of laundry for me. It can be a little more or a little less for you um, because everything is liquid with Enyo. You can dilute it the way you want to. So I use one teaspoon per load. Uh, on the instructions, it says half a teaspoon, and you can use all the way up to two if you want, but it's very economical to use. So you can wash your Enyo in the washing machine. Uh, it has to be a hot soapy load, so we want 60 to 80 degree uh, temperature, so like a hot load. Nothing that scalds your hands, like I can hand wash this as well. And same thing, you want a hot soapy water when you're hand washing your Enyo. So no fabric softener, no bleach. And then we have these massive tags for one very good reason, because you can hang them up by your tags, or you can actually just pop them on the line like that. You want them to dry outside in the sun. It's great in the, in the summer. In the winter in Canada, not so great. So I just put them in my laundry room so that I can, I can get them dried. Okay, so actually, is it okay, Jackie, if I continue on with the bathroom zone? We might talk about that is that all right i can't see your face so just give me a yes or a no yeah um okay. i can i ask something though laurie yes. um because you mentioned about washing after like when you're doing the washing machine washing but i know that some people that i've spoken to didn't understand that after every use you just wash it in, with warm water and soap to release everything and and that that's okay for about a week am i right is it about a week yeah, I like if, if, you mean if, to leave your annual dirty for about a week? No, no, to, to wash it after every use. So if I were to clean the counters with the kitchen or, or let's go with the bathroom one that you just talked about, clean the bathroom. And then generally after I've cleaned the bathroom, both bathrooms, I put it in laundry right away. But right. if I'm just doing a quick wipe over in the bathroom with that 
glove, then I'll give it a good soapy, hot water soapy rinse and, and um, rinse out and then hang it up for use again until it's being really used and then I throw it in the laundry. Yeah, and that's fine, Jackie. So okay. general rule, I always say to people, wash your annual when it's dirty. Like yeah. if it's really dirty, if you've been doing dishes and you've got all kinds of dirty stuff, either give it a quick hand wash or you can pop it in the machine. Right. Um, I really, I really talk about hand washing and that's a really good reason to have another, another little cleaning class because then you can really get into like the skincare and the kitchen zone. If you've got both of these zones, I do recommend that you do some hand washing because the fibers are cleaning six times better than anything out there. So they are pulling so much stuff off the skin, uh, gently and off your kitchen surfaces. That the fibers really grab onto stuff so it's good to do a hand wash to really kick it kick it out kind of a thing so you can machine wash or hand wash or do a little bit of both too watch it when it's dirty yeah and if okay. you're doing a quick clean for sure just give it a quick little wash and and then hang it up okay yeah good good question so every zone has a glove um and you'll put things in zones for a reason you can purchase Everything separate, which is what I did 12 years ago. I purchased this and that and the other thing. But you spend way more money because what happens is, is that you're missing some tools uh, to clean in that area. So they put them in zones so that you get a special, actually. They put it on sale to give you all the tools that you need in the zone. And then they do, they kind of combine things and we can talk about that after as well to make just bigger packages just for better value, actually. They just keep putting the price down a little bit. So with every zone, especially the bathroom, you'll see a glove and that's for all your big jobs. So we're going to clean the taps of the sink, the, the countertops of the sink, the sink itself. We're going to go to the bathtub. We're going to clean the bathtub. We're going to dry behind with our drying cloth. Showers next, dry behind, or if you have a little squeegee system in the bathroom to pull the water off, it works really well and then it saves your drying cloth because these drying cloths will get wet. It's their job. Um, then you're going to do the outside of the toilet and I always say to do the floors and if you can do the walls a little bit as well because this is going to clean pore deep dry behind the zone comes with a scrub it's the same fiber here but on this side it's a stronger fiber so if you've got tile with grout if you've got um, tracking if you've got a really kind of a lot of dirt in your bathtub like the kids bathtub upstairs right now my kids are 21 and 23. They're not really kids anymore, but I keep calling them that. Um, but scrub actually gives you a little bit more of a level of clean and you can push with the scrub. Whereas with your fiber, with the sun, we want light circular motions, which is a big flip in the head, right? Like I was always taught the dirtier the surface, the more product you're gonna use and the harder you scrub. Um, and Enyo's opposite, <laughs> the dirtier the surface, the more cold water you're going to use and the more light circular motions. So we want to think about brushing our teeth. We want the oscillation of that electric brush. Does this sound familiar if anyone has a hygienist that talks that? Um, and light circular motions on the tissue because we want the bristles to go underneath the gum tissue in between the teeth. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, so that's the scrub that comes in there. And then we have a toilet wand. So this is very interesting because our toilets are already cold. So the water that's in our toilet uh, is actually sitting on a lot of heavily finished porcelain down there. And the toilet pump companies put a lot of porcelain on our toilets because they know that, well, for me, it was bleach. It was Lysol with bleach. It was all kinds of stuff that went down in my toilet. I never really thought about when I flushed it where it went, right? I didn't think I was really polluting anything because of course it's all safe to use because I bought it at Zeller's at that time, right? Um, but you really got to start thinking about, for, for example, how long you're putting a chemical in the toilet. It's got to stay in there for 10 minutes with the toilet seat up so that the volatile organic compounds have an opportunity to kind of dissipate into the air. Um, and then it's supposed to kill everything and that is what you flush down into your septic system and down into the municipal waterways. But with Enyo, we just use a fiber that does all the cleaning in the toilet with nothing but cold water in there. So I will sometimes dip it in and get underneath the toilet seat. If there's any urine, there's boys in our house too, you want to get down and grab it and then just go right inside the toilet. My water does go cloudy, 
um, because we're very high calcium at the farm and I have dirty toilets. It's gonna go cloudy. You flush that down, down into your septic system, and then you can see actually where you missed <laughs> so that you can go and grab the rest of it, okay? And that is the toilet wand. There is a new toilet flexi that is out right now, um, and it is on special, and I forgot to grab it, Jackie. Let me see if I've got it here. And it looks like this. Pretty crazy. So there is a titanium post in here that you can flex and bend so that you can get underneath things or down into the gooseneck of your toilet, which is really awesome. This is what Europe is using right now. And they've, of course, Austria, we're always following them. We're actually 10 years behind Europe at any given time. Um, but this is what Austria and Europe has been using Australia as well. And they want Canada to give it a whirl. So I haven't tried it yet. It's brand new, um, but it's also on a special and we can put the specials up when we're all done. Okay. So that is the bathroom zone. The kitchen zone, we wanted to talk a bit about it. And maybe Jackie, we could put up, there's um, a video, a couple of videos actually, that Jackie can put up on her Facebook page that kind of show the butter demo. It's really hard to do it in my basement with no water down here. Um, but it's really excellent to see it on the video. So maybe we'll kind of pop that up on Jackie's uh, business page. But just like our bathroom zone, our kitchen zone comes with the glove. And for sure, we are using cool to cold water in our kitchen because we're all about oil and grease and just general yuck in there. Our kitchen is very, very different from our bathroom. Our bathroom fibers are cut like little chisels to chisel off the soap scum that's on our, on our bathtubs and showers. And our kitchen zone is actually cut like human hair because it picks up oil and grease and brings everything down just like your hair brings it down to the, to the scalp. Two sides, but notice the suns on this side. So wherever your sun is, you're going to do light circular motions with the fibers. And then we've got a scrubby side on this side. And a lot of people think this is actually the strongest fiber. But if you're in a lot of grease, for sure you're in cold water and you're going to use this fiber. And I usually say to people, just flip it around. This fiber is so strong, you can actually do your dishes with cold water and no soap if you want. If you're really an environmentalist, and you really want to get rid of stuff, you can do that. Um, I use this glove for all my big jobs. So I'm putting cold water on this. I'm cleaning my entire refrigerator. Stainless steel outside. It comes with a drying cloth. So I'm drying behind, clean with our fiber, dry behind with our drying cloth. Inside your refrigerator, you're cleaning with this, drying with your drying cloth. Then go to your microwave, inside, outside, stove, up, down, all directions all your countertops, finish off doing your sink, so stainless steel sink, and you're gonna see your water bead differently because it's gonna be pulling all the yuck into the fiber and leaving nothing on your surface. So your water will actually dissipate as you put it on instead of beading really, really tight. You'll see those tight beads when you first start using Enyo, and then all of a sudden the water dissipates off of it. Um, and then you're gonna clean your garbage can and I clean my compost bucket, and then I'm going to wash this because it's probably dirty at that point. Okay, so that's the one thing that's in there. I'm gonna set it on here. And then we've got two dish cloths. So the darker the color with Enyo, the stronger the fiber, and that's with any of our zones. So you can tell that this, that your green and your kitchen's darker than your green all-purpose cloths. This is not meant for wood at all, but you can use your all-purpose cloths on a bit of wood. So cleaning your kitchen cupboards and things if where there's grease around the poles and all that, your kitchen all-purpose cloths are really great for that. Also for doing dishes, um, because I am I'm doing 20 minutes worth of dishes every night and I depend on my hands to do this in a very strong way all day long, <laughs> um, I can't take cold water for 20 minutes. So I get my carbon footprint down and I use about this much warm water and I use a little tiny bit of our washing up liquid, which is what I use to hand wash our annual. Um, I pop that in my sink so that I'm doing my dishes that way, okay? And then I don't change my water, I just kind of keep on going. Um, what I really love about these is that you can roll them to get down into water bottles and then you're only using water, cold water 
to get things off, or even your coffee perks if you're an organic person and you don't want any soap around anything, then those are really great. There's also a scrub, which is the same fiber as your glove, little different back. It does have a little bit more of a scrub to it, and I really like it for doing dishes. Inside here is actually, um, the foam is from marine seeding or boat seeding, so that we're not molding and we're not creating any mold uh, in our fibers. Okay, and then of course, our drying cloth, which we're drying behind. So stainless steel, it really anything in your kitchen. The only thing is with your, with your stoves, make sure that they're cold because we're, uh, we're cleaning in cold, okay? And the heat, you just don't want the heat to burn your fibers at all. Hey, is it okay if I talk a little bit about the, what time are we at? We're doing hey. good. Oh, Lori, how's it going? Good. Before you move past the kitchen zone, I had a question about the all-purpose cloth because I do use these all the time and they get washed, you know, every few days or in the washing machine or whenever they seem like they're pretty well soiled. Um, I have to admit though I do wash them just in warm water in the washing machine and I do use the Enyo laundry detergent um, but I have noticed that the cloth that I was using the most has like you probably can't see it but when you look closely at it some of the fibers have kind of like grayed almost and there's a little bit of a smell to it and I just wondered is it possible for this thing to have gone moldy? No, you know what it is? I think you just need to do a kick out. So I would take, do you have the orange blossom washing up liquid? Yes. So I would take that and do hot water. They say 60 to 80 degrees. So it's a little bit hotter probably than what maybe the washing machine would, but do it in a bowl and put your orange blossom washing up liquid on it. This is kind of like shout it out. And really force your fingers through the fibers there's just some stuff caught in there and you'll kick that out have you tried that yet Teresa no not yet I just wondered if I wasn't using hot enough water or if I had let it go too long one time and then yeah sometimes I find that with our front well I have a front load machine I wish I had my top loader back if you have one that was the other thing I wondered is I have a front loader as well and I wondered if it's just not enough agitation to really clean it well yeah I find that there's not sometimes enough water in there like yeah I'll give a really good like hand wash to my kitchen and my skincare I'll hand wash that before I even throw it into the washing machine it doesn't take it doesn't take very long it only takes a few seconds but, but yeah then I know that I'm agitating my fingers through it and I'm really kicking out what's in those fibers yes yeah so I would try that yeah message me if you're having trouble okay Okay, cool. All right. So our floor zone, I'm going to leave with that, but I really want to encourage um, anybody else who's thinking, oh man, I might have a couple friends who, who would probably be interested in just hearing some education and information on what we're, what we talk about with Enyo. And please think about having your own cleaning class with Jackie. Tonight, um, all the customers, all the commission, all everything goes to Jackie. So this is really the big start of her business. And also to start with Enyo, it's really important that she, has, that she gets in front of people. And I would love for someone to just be her guinea pigs and just sit there and listen to her presentation. Um, I know that there's a few of you out there that would do that for her to kind of help her out and give her some feedback as well, which is really important for us. We wanna make sure that we're getting the message across as clear as possible. So our floor system, um, with the host program with Enyo, um, because we need hosts, we are not sold in Walmart, um, because it has a 60 day money back guarantee, people would buy this, use it with hot water and use a product with it and scrub like 90. It just wouldn't fly. So we actually have to teach people how to use Enyo. And, and as, um, as a host, we actually give back to you. So you can get anywhere in the month of September, anywhere from 50 to $195 off your annual, which is amazing. That is why I had my first annual demo. I wanted this floor system and I did not want to pay full price <laughs> for it. And actually, um, right now it's on sale, which is really great. So we'll put the sale things up, Jackie, on your, on your business page as well. Everything with the floor system is meant to be used with your feet standing up. And it's 
a little bit tricky for me to show you this um, when I'm on carpet and stuff. So I'll kind of use my hands, but there are two pieces to our floor, floor system. There is a plate like this that, that holds our floor system on. And then there is a pole that when you twist lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, we get a six foot reach. And that is super important because when your handle comes off, you have an opportunity to put a window system on here, which is the bomb for cleaning windows. Seriously, crazy amazing. Um, and Jackie, there's tons of videos you can share about this. But the fiber, again, does the cleaning. And then there is a squeegee that's made in Austria that you don't even push with this. So to have it six feet on a pole and you off a ladder, uh, is perfect and that's what Enyo teaches to get off our knees and off of our ladder and it fits on the end of this and the handle also comes out and I'll just put it up here just so that you know that it also fits a dust flexi and Jackie can go on another zoom and talk about our dusting system it's incredible um, but this fits on here and then everything flexes so that not only do you have a six foot reach Maybe you've got ceiling fans up there, but also maybe you don't want to get down on your hands and knees and you have very low profile furniture that you can stand up now and push this down. It's great for getting under stoves, on top of fridges, um, on top of cupboards and things. The dust actually is magnetized to this. It hangs onto it and then you take it outside and you beat it outside to release and then you keep on dusting. It is awesome. And just to add to that, you you said how I have that and I have the the um, full floor system, and David uses it all the time. <laughs> I'm looking over at him right now. <laughs> he he uses that um, the flexi all the time. I've used it under our couch. It's amazing. I really um, I, that whole I system. Always, I love it. I always say anybody with pets. Yeah, you that's, this system because I don't know how I don't have pets in the house and I can't live without it. I don't know how yeah. people do it without it. Um, yeah. when, and once you get a dust flexi, honestly, I don't really know if you ever get another one. It lasts a long, long time. Yeah. So the floor system has a few different pads. Uh, whenever you see an orange fiber with Enyo, you you saw it on our dust flexi. You saw it, you can see it up here in our living zone that Jackie, you can go over at one point. Um, and the floor system is the same thing. So this is used dry and it will say annual floor dust. Uh, and the fibers actually go all the way around here so that you can put it up to your ceilings and pull it across and it won't damage anything as it's going around. Um, when this is full of dust or dog hair, and by the way, annual tests for allergens, it's not just dust that we're picking up, it's actual allergens that are in the home. And that is why the Asthma and Allergy Associations are starting to recommend Enyo in the home. So not only do you have no VOCs, no volatile organic compounds from cleaning products or anything, even green products are giving them off, the dusting systems are pulling everything in the fiber. And then when it's full, you grab the outside take it outside and you beat it like this so that you're actually putting your allergens back out into the environment. And most of the time the birds just come and grab the hair and stuff and make little nests. <laughs> mm. So to put this on your floor system, there is an open and a closed paddle down here. So I would be with my feet pushing down on my open paddle, which forms a V. And then I'm going to pop, pop it on the floor system, push down on the closed, so now I've got it on my floor system. This little lock right here, when you pull that up, your handle is stuck in your floor system and it also gives you motion as you're going around. So that's when you can turn your pole lefty-loosey and you can make it the height that you need it to have um, so that you're, you're dusting very easily and ergonomically prepped so that you're not bending over, usually up to about your chin is the height that you need to go. Um, and then when you're finished dusting, you're going to push your open paddle. All right, I'm on this really funny thing here that's giving away. I'm just gonna do it with my foot. So you're gonna push on that. Here, maybe you guys can see me do this if I hang right down here. There we go. So there's a couple different washing fibers. Let me grab those. There's one that we use for 
flat, flat hardwood surfaces, and it's a light blue color. Uh, and then the next one up is actually a medium fiber, and we usually use it if we've got a lot of texture, if we've got tile with grout. I usually suggest that we go up to this fiber. Um, first of all, if you've got a lot of hardwood, you don't want to put a lot of water on your hardwood, so I always suggest the soft fiber to start out, okay? And then, let me see if I can get this right. There we go. So we pop in the one side. And then we're going to push down. We're going to push on our closed paddle so that it's on there. And then I'm gonna pull up on that little lock. If I'll do it again. You can kind of see my foot pull up. And then I can turn my pole, lefty loosey, righty tighty, so that I am <laughs> about up to here. <laughs> Sorry to be so small on everything. The flooring system, just make sure that you're not bending over pushing with it. You do want to stand up so that you're moving it this way across your floor. Okay. So we're washing and drying all at the same time with our annual floor system. I usually suggest that we put a little tiny bit of, of water, whether it's a zigzag or we can put a stream down this way. Um, and then leave two thirds dry, and then you can always add water to the floor as you're going along. Hey, all right. So that is about 45 minutes, and I don't want to just keep going on and on because I know Jackie, you're going to want to do another cleaning class so that you can explain how amazing the skincare is. Um, your sister, it's Andrea, right? Your sister's Andrea, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The living zone is incredible for all your wood walls, windows also, screens, dusting, textiles. So we're cleaning uh, carpets and area rugs and um, furniture and inside cars with all that. Okay, so there's a few other things, but it's a lot of information at once. And I just wanted to give uh, everyone just a little bit of a taste of everything, and then uh, we can get Jackie kind of on the bandwagon. So, now questions? Just Come on, on ask just your on questions. You. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can. I'm just gonna ask. I bought these at Jackie's whenever, and it says skincare. Right. So that is that is. is Yep, that is actually a, a spa towel for your face or your hands. Yeah, so you're cleaning. Yeah, so you're cleaning your body. You can't even buy those anymore, Marg. They did it on a promotion. I have three of them. Yeah, I know you do. Wow. Yeah, they're amazing. I can use them and you can tell me later then. Yeah. So I'll tell you, Mark, I know, of, I know of somebody who would love to um, buy one from you because Marlene, who was supposed to be on tonight, she was asking about getting another one. She loves it. She uses to dry her hair. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do, use your power and get, get them bringing it back. <laughs> I have three that never been touched. Okay. Wow. We'll, we'll learn about those. Yeah. So you're cleaning your skin with the fiber and only water. No more soap, no more body wash, no toner, no cleanser, no nothing. Like and then you can dry, dry off with that towel. I'll tell you, that little towel is like a little spa treatment. It's so soft. It's like a chamois on your skin. Okay. Nice. I would have used that in the kitchen. So this is worth <laughs> Jackie, they have set in my cupboard for I don't know how long. So oh. <laughs> that's why I came tonight. Uh, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Good. Any other questions? I have a question about the, the window system. Yeah. Um, that if you buy the window system, the it comes, yeah, it comes with that blue fiber, um, which is obviously meant for the glass windows. Right. Would it be a bad idea to use that on tile as well like if you're cleaning a shower that's a mixture of glass enclosure and then flat tile like can I do the whole shower with that blue fiber or do you have to get the white and yellow one like how much yeah. do you that really that's happen? a great question Teresa so the white fiber is actually cut differently differently than this it's going to cut through more soap scum but in saying that this is not going to hurt your bathroom 
Like, I'm just wondering if it's going to hurt the fiber by going over like a, a shallow grout line with that blue fiber. Yeah, I don't think it's going to hurt your fiber too much. Um, it will, it's going to wear it a lot more because you'll be using it a lot. Um, but it's not going to hurt it. Okay. Yeah. Because there's, there's several different things I want to buy and I'm just trying to prioritize like <laughs> which ones are yeah. going to get the most use. You know? Yeah, I agree. I want the dust flexi, but I also want the window system. Ah, I, yeah. yeah. So the window system, they actually sell it in a zone. Um, mm -hmm. And it, uh, I can put some prices up as well. And in the zone, your, your water bottle is almost free, really. And you think it's a silly water bottle. It's actually crazy amazing. <laughs> um, it's got a weighted system. I don't even have one here. It's got a weighted system down um, so that whenever you turn, I'm just trying to find mine. It's not down here. Sorry, girls. I didn't bring it down. But when you take off the cap, it's got like a weighted system. So if you're upside down, you still have water. And the nice part about it is that it'll do a really fine mist on your windows or even I like to use it on my floors as well because we're hardwood and you don't want to put a lot of water on your hardwood. Um, if I'm outside and I need a stream of water, oh there it is Andrea, yeah. When I need a stream of water, <laughs> just turn your brass nozzle and it will it will go a story for you. Mm -hmm. So you can get out your window system, put it on your floor pole and away you go. Oh. Yeah, I also use the window system for trailers, for cleaning my trailer. So the awning, you can pull out your awning. There's a little button here and I just push it and I take my squeegee off so that, and then I put it on my floor pole so that I've got six foot reach so I'm off a ladder and it does a really good job with the mold on the awning. Mm -hmm. um, and also when you're ready to use it on your windows, you can pop your, you can pop your squeegee the opposite way so it's a little bit easier. What to store it though, I'll push this button and turn it around and then I store it like that. Just watch that you don't push with any of this. You really don't have to. Just let your um, let your squeegee just glide down your window. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the nice part about having it on the floor system because you'd think that this would be super heavy and it, it's really not. It's very nice and uh, easy to use on the hands and on the arms. So you know what I would suggest? I would suggest get the window zone, have a have a cleaning class with Jackie and get your get dust flexi for free. Get the flexi. <laughs> That's what I would do. Yeah. I'm a practical girl. We'll, we'll chat, Teresa. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for the best deals, Jackie. So yeah. <laughs> I'll just give you my wish list and you plan it out for me so that okay. I get everything at the best price. <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty much the best price because your zone's already on sale. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then your dust flexi, you can get it for free. Yeah. Good. Any other questions? Probably pricing. Do place orders tonight, or do we have to, or do you just bring in an order form to work, Jackie, and I fill it out there, or when do we actually buy stuff? I was going to ask, because I, I think this is a little bit new, right, Lori, doing the yeah. virtual classes. So normally yeah. it would be in person but yeah normally it would be in person but really all jackie needs to order and everything shipped right to your home and shipping's always a flat rate of nine of at 8.95 with enyo which is really economical um but she just needs your well obviously your name your your mailing address normally we're shipping canada post right now and it's taking about three to five business days to come which is very very fast yeah. um and then she needs an email so that your receipt will be sent directly to your email address and your phone number as well. And that's, and that's really it. So, so I, I would just close it whenever you want, Jackie, like even this is Wednesday, like even if you said if everyone had orders in by Friday. Okay. It's really up to you. The sooner you get the orders in, the sooner you can place them and then obviously the sooner everyone gets them. The longer you kind of keep it open, it can turn into 10 days, right? Because if you don't put your order in right away. Right. But as soon now, as you don't put the order in, they'll get an email sent to them with their receipt. Okay. And um, they can pay, uh, just so that you know, they can pay credit card, MasterCard or Visa. We don't take debit, just so that you know. And any cash or checks all go to Jackie. And any e-transfers all go to Jackie. 
Cool. I'm just really excited that we've got another voice talking about this. Like, Teresa, I know you've been using Enyo for a little while, and how are you feeling when you're using it? Good. I would say I would say the 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 zone that I think has been the best investment is probably the bathroom zone um, because it's getting used often. And like you said, it, it gets the kids cleaning the bathroom and I can feel good about that. And, uh, you know, and it improves their aim too. <laughs> when they're the ones doing the wiping up around the toilet. It wasn't me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like, I would definitely be recommending the, the bathroom system to people. And then the other thing that gets used the most obviously is the kitchen stuff because it's used you know, every day, several times a day. And, and I mean, the laundry too, like I've been, I've switched to the all natural detergent because we've had issues with eczema and that kind of thing. So I just don't want the chemicals being on our bodies. Right. So it's, yeah, I've been happy with the stuff that I've purchased. There, there's a couple of things that I can be honest that I don't use that much, like the kitchen glove. Um, I tend to use the cloth for most things. Um, just because I'm a busy mom who doesn't do a deep clean that often, <laughs> yep, you know, so it's, <laughs> uh, so I would say this definitely gets used a lot, but, um, uh, like you said, though, when we're trying to impress somebody and we want to clean our stainless steel, I'll pull out the glove, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And the nice thing is, is that in seconds you can have it clean without anybody knowing that you did anything any different, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, no, I've definitely been happy with the products. It's just, it is, you know, cost wise, a bit of an investment initially. And that's why I'm always looking for when can I get things at the best price, but uh, it's been worthwhile. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the same thing when I first got into it, but um, I mean, I used to just think about cost as in cost and product. Like, I thought I will never use the bathroom zone enough to buy enough toilet bowl cleaner. Well, number one, I wasn't using the toilet bowl cleaner properly. It wasn't killing anything in my toilet. <laughs> I was, you're supposed to use a quarter of a cup. I think it is. I think it turns out so many mills. Just read the back. It'll tell you. And when you do that with four toilets over, you know, a month, I'm getting a, a new, I think it was one and a half bottles every three or four months or something like that. So I wasn't even using my products properly to purchase them enough to kill anything in my house. I was purchasing stuff just to kind of wishy-washy it around. And I had this sense of clean, even though things just really, they just really weren't clean because I wasn't leaving them long enough on the, on the spaces. Yeah. And there's a couple things that I would say the same thing, Teresa, like in the living zone, when you get into that zone, um, I mean, you're my dad this is a workhouse in my like a workhorse in my house but the textile glove is something that you're not going to pull out all the time uh if somebody drops their red glass of red wine on your carpet that's what you're going to grab when you're going to clean the inside of your car you're going to do your textiles like your car seats when you're doing your suede boots and suede purses you're going to grab your textile glove but it's a glove that actually sits in my i have a drawer with all my cleaning products <laughs> all my annual fibers in them and it sits in there until I need it. Um, but something like that is going to last you probably a lifetime, right? Yeah, well, and that bathroom cloth, like the kids have to clean their own bathroom, they have to clean their own rooms, which includes mopping because I have the floor system as well. And it's, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah, there's certain things that don't get a ton of use, like you said, like the textile glove, my kitchen glove doesn't get a ton of use, but things like the dusting glove, the bathroom, the floor system, like that all gets used regularly. My, the iPads I use every night yeah. to take off my makeup. Like yeah. it's, yeah, it's worthwhile. And it is absolutely a time saver. Like when I look at how long it takes me to clean the bathroom now, it's a fraction of the time. Because when I used all the chemicals, it took forever to rinse everything. You know, I would clean, I would clean everything with the chemicals and then I'd be rinsing, rinsing, rinsing my cloth and then I'd wipe it again and it was still bubbly. So I'd be rinsing, rinsing, rinsing and then wiping again. So I was going over the surfaces like four times trying to get the product off, you know, and then I just 
smelled and felt disgusting afterwards and had to give my body a deep clean when I was done. So it was a real, just such a chore. You yeah. know, and it is, it is a lot faster now. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some, some things are really daunting to clean actually. Like windows were extremely daunting for me and you can do it with your glove out of your living zone. Um, then you get this and you're like off to the races. It's like speed. Yeah. Um, yeah. How's your couch looking? Did you finish cleaning the... <laughs> It, uh, oh, it looked way better after you cleaned the couch with the fabric cloth, but with, with the dog on it all the time and the kids dribbling stuff, like it's, there's always circular drip stains on the couch and that. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a chore list for the boys to do when they're looking to earn extra electronics time and cleaning the fabrics is one of them, but, but they haven't chosen that chore yet because I've only awarded a half an hour's worth of electronics time and it's... <laughs> They're, they're arguing that it's worth more. <laughs> but, but, uh, I love your yeah. system. That's awesome because you're actually teaching. We're teaching the next generation yeah. to look after themselves. Yeah. Which is huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Any other questions out there for me? Jackie, did I go over okay for... Uh, Absolutely. For that? Yeah. I think yeah. what we should do is put up um, like all the, uh, all the sales. That are on right now okay. and all the zones and everything on your page and then you can also send them uh directly to people as well which right. works works really well and actually tonight is the only time that jackie can be a host anymore that's right she's going to be an entrepreneur so she is going to get all the all the host benefits which is really great because it helped you actually um you know add to your kit and i want it yeah I want to get that window system and yeah. The really uh, crazy thing when you're an annual consultant is you really like these gloves over here is not stockpiling. That's actually awards that I won um, because we don't have to keep any stock. Like things don't change with Enyo. Um, right. When you order it, it gets shipped directly. The, the biggest thing with this um, with this job, as far as I'm concerned, um, and this is coming from my heart is to actually teach people a new way of living it's a lifestyle change i've said this so many times to people this is not a jewelry party um this is not something that you know you're going to buy and wear once in a while this is actually a lifestyle change that can take you to something that you've really wanted to achieve maybe for a long time or maybe you could have cared less about the environment but like i said in the beginning all of a sudden you're this environmentalist um, which you can talk about with the younger generation because they think they got it all going on with their zero waste. Let me tell you, we got something to teach them too. So there's a quote, um, and I can't find it from somebody when I was looking at my training, and there was a quote about um, how long it takes to make change. Because I, I know, like Teresa, you're talking about the using the bathroom system and um the kitchen we've used the cloths the the dish cloths for a very long time love them i i love how they clean dishes period and then i use them occasionally on the counter and i'm always like no 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 just use them on the dishes i've got the i use the glove for the counter but i it's taken me this quote is all about how long it takes you to get into the habit of just using that all the time we david and i would have a folded like terry cloth towel out that we use to just wipe up wet on the counter and i said david no that bacteria <laughs> get rid of it so we we went to the glove and and now i have the glove just sitting out there with with a spray bottle or or, or just dampen it whatever and anytime there's honey sitting on the counter from coffee in the morning or you know coffee stains or whatever i just grab it quickly and run over and then go behind with the annual fill and the counters look better than they ever have. Andrea and Wendy, you'll be shocked. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, um, it's all a habit. It's all getting used to using and the mindset of um, not reaching. Like I haven't had chemicals in my house for well over two years, if not more. Um, I think it's two years ago that we took a big box to, to the recycling or, you know, hazardous, hazardous waste. Um, yeah, but. yeah, and and actually, Jackie, that brings up a really great point. If um, I would really encourage everyone, and you can do this as well, Jackie, as you're as you're doing your annual cleaning classes, to 
get them to do a covered clean out, grab that box yeah. and get everything. And I mean, everything, take everything out from underneath your cupboards, underneath your kitchen, your bathroom, put everything in those boxes and put it away where the dogs and the kids can't get into it and use your annual for 60 days and see what you're missing. Is there something that you're missing that you wish you had? It's probably replaced by marble paste, which you can talk about later, Jackie. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> because that marble paste replaced like stainless steel cleaner and you know like tar uh, grout cleaner, grout cleaner. Yeah. and um you know cleaning silver and all and just the water stuff. um in the bathtub i find the the water like a calcium i know there's the calcium remover as well but i find that marble paste amazing for calcium or just hard water stains basically yeah. it's amazing yeah, so please do it. If you get Enyo in your home, please do a covered clean out and, and really take it seriously. Get it out of there because you will find stuff that's probably 10 to 15 years old sitting underneath your cupboard. There'll be six carpet cleaners if you're anything like me. <laughs> get it all out of there. You'll have so much space, number one. Number two, your, your home will be healthier and uh, you won't have to put any locks on your cupboards when grandkids or company comes. Yeah. Good. So. All right, well, any we, I, should I just leave it that that everybody reaches out to me or I reach out I'll reach out to you guys or you guys just message me um, all of you that are up here I'm gonna I don't know if I'm seeing you tomorrow Teresa but um, I see her regularly and and everyone else I see off and on her message so um, you know just let me know if you're interested in, in anything and um, I guess, Laurie, too, the, the, when it, I start to plug it in, if they've spent a certain amount, then they could get something else for a discount or whatever. I just then let them know through emails or whatever, correct? Yeah, so they'll know because I'll post the specials on your business page. So if you okay. spend $150 with Enyo, you get the laundry liquid for free, or um, you can get one of the floor fibers for $20 off. But if you spend $300 with Enyo, so there's a couple different levels. You can get the floor pole and plate and one fiber for one forty nine, which it's regularly two seventeen. So it's quite a it's quite a good discount. Okay, and I'll post that up there so that you know. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna stop our recording here. Okay. Okay. Perfect.